Okay. Come on. Come on. You're determined. I guess that means I bring you out. Come out. Come on. Come on. I'll let you come roam around the snake room for a while. Come on. <laughs> come on, too. You gonna come out? Come out this way. Come this way. Come over here. There you go. There you go. You gonna come hang out with me? Huh? You gonna come hang out with me? Hey, pal. How are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. See, wow, that's a big snake. This is the huge plushie that Tommy sent me, my friend, from YouTube and Facebook. Where are you going, Chu? Well, you always got to get on the edge of that plastic to, to kill me. Hey, how about this? How about you come out? Here we go. Come on. Show people what a big... Oh, you want to stay... You don't need to stay in there. Silly. You can't go outside. It's not that warm. The sun's out, but... He's like, well, I don't know where we are, and I'm not liking this too much. I don't know where I am. There. How about I move that over there? There you go. Hey. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? So I want to go check all this cool stuff out out here. Huh. Hey, buddy. See, wow, all kinds of neat stuff out here to get into, huh? All kinds of cool stuff to get into. No, you can't breathe with that. That's not a real one. That's not a real snake. No, it's not. That's not a real snake. Hey, your namesake's going to be on checking in on Brian Barczyk's podcast Wednesday night. And that'll take you out so you can watch it with me. Chewy was named after Chewy that worked at BHB Reptiles. He's going to be on the live podcast Wednesday. So I'll uh, take him out. Let him hang out with me and watch it. What are you doing? You just can't stay away from me for two minutes, can you? Hello, Mama. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's so spoiled. If I get outdoors with them in the spring and summer, like I take all my snakes out, and I got him on the ground, and I get up and I walk away, and I walk way up the driveway to the garage out back. I'll turn around and look back, and he's right behind my heels coming up the driveway real slow. And he'll keep going until he finds me. I'll go up to the garage and stop and sit on the ground. And he'll come straight to me. And once he finds me, he'll stop going. They're just like a dog. They follow you everywhere. That's amazing. There's so much to snakes that people just don't see. Just so much that people don't realize how amazing they really are. And that they can love you in, in their own way so I don't get any crap about it. But they can have the same affection toward you that a cat or a dog can. What are you doing? My incense is still burning over here. I meant to put it out. Let's not have that burning over here. Where are you going? See, wow, there's all kinds of neat new stuff out here, huh? Yeah. But these are my best friends. They always are on me or near me. They just, it's the way it is. That bind goes beyond just taking them out and putting them back in, way beyond. You want to get on the floor? Here, let me move your cage over here for your coat. There, you can get on the floor. I don't think the camera will pick you up, though. You get on the floor. Huh? Am I going to have to go get my camera? No, you don't need to sneak it under the futon. Uh oh, let's get back up here. I don't want you getting up under my futon. I'll never get you out. Where are you going? 
They're my best friends. I love them to death. I've been thinking about taking a break from Facebook and YouTube for a while, but I don't know. I don't think I can. It's become such a big part of my life, sharing my snakes with people and educating people about them. I don't think I could do it with a clear conscience, but it's just great to see so many new people out there giving their animals a better quality of life, their snakes especially, because they really need to be able to see what's going on around them. You know, if you've never exposed to anything, how are you supposed to learn anything? You can't. If you live in a one room all your life and you never see any activities going on around you, you have no sunlight, no daylight, What's there to learn? You live in the same little environment all the time. There's nothing new for you to learn. Snakes are no different. For them to have brain activities that can graduate, they need to be exposed to different things in their lives. You just determine you don't need to get back in there, silly, but I, I'm very firm about that. I really think, yeah, if you only take them out for a half an hour, at least give them that. They deserve that much. You're a pain in the butt. <laughs> hey. Hey, let me grab the camera. Who's that? Eh? Who's that on my futon out here? Who's that? Look at that face. See, this is comfortable. I could hang out on here and be happy on it. You like my food time? Huh? Pretty cool, huh? I don't know what my camera's picking up, but we'll try. <laughs> You're silly. Where are you going? Huh? It's my best friend. He is. Hey, I'm back. You got nervous because you didn't know where I went. They're like that. Hey. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Yeah, they can be just as affectionate and social as any cat or dog can. I trust them before I walk up to a strange dog. I walk up to a strange snake, one I'm not familiar with. Hey! You get nervous? See, this is all new to me out here. Huh? You look teeny on this big double futon. What you do? You look at... Hey. <laughs> Where are you going? Where you go? You're huffing. It's not warm out here. It's only 70 degrees. You should be huffing. It's not warm out here. You can't breathe with that snake. It's not a real snake, too. No, it's not. It's not a real one. I'm, I'm just... I've been doing snake education for 30 years. I'm just so glad to see other people giving their snakes a better quality of life. They need it. They deserve it. They don't have any predators in a captive environment, so why shouldn't you give them some freedom? I can see out in the wild why it's hard for them to survive. Constant predators. It's hard to reproduce without losing all their babies because of predators. And they don't have all these issues in a captive environment. Where are you going? No, you ain't. You're not getting over there in the corner. No corners. But, you know, they don't have these things to be concerned with in a captive. <laughs> it's me. Did I creep up behind you? I love you too. They don't have these things to contend with in a captive environment, so why not give them some freedom to enjoy their lives? That's a part I just don't understand. This gives them every opportunity to enjoy their lives living in a captive environment. 
It'd be really nice if everybody would give them that. You're not going to get up there on my table. No, we're not getting in any corners or any little holes around here. <laughs> hey. I don't know how the camera's picking any of it up, but I wanted to bring him out and let him roam around. But, you know, it's up to you. You want to keep your snakes as prisoners, or you want to give them a nice quality of life. This is very rewarding to me, just sitting and watching them have some freedom to express themselves and check things out. Hey, where are you going? You're dying to get under my futon, aren't you? It's a floor. See, she doesn't let me on the floor in the house. You can get on the floor out here. Nobody tracks their shoes out here like they do in the house. Where are you going? So I'm exploring everything. Hey, chew. Chew. Chewy. He says, I'm going to go check the floor out. That's what I'm going to do. You can get on the floor if you want to. Nobody comes from the garage into this room. I don't allow it. That's why I don't let them on the floor in the house because the guys are running out of the house from the garage out back and you never know if they've got antifreeze or brake fluid or something on their shoes and it would be kind of stupid to let people track that in on the carpet and then put my snakes down on the floor. Are you stuck? Uh-oh, he found my power strip. Something new. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I love them to death. Hey. Why don't you come back up here where people can see you? Huh? Come back up here. Come on. So people can see how handsome you are. There you go. Yeah, that's me. Grumpy's over here. I turned his light off and fades because their cages were pretty warm today. Actually, it's quite warm in here. It's 78 in the room. And with their basking lights on, it's a lot warmer than that in their cages. I hate ca the word cage. I prefer to call them enclosures, but it slips out once in a while. What? I just don't want you to get in any tight spaces that I have to start moving furniture around. That's all. No, I don't. <laughs> You're a piece of work. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Yeah. Whoops, you fell. You fell down. I just cleaned out your whole enclosure, gave you fresh water. I give my snakes fresh water every other day. I, I can't stand to see them. Well, water dishes do get dirty because snakes like to crawl through poop and crawl into the water dishes and everything, but yeah, you can't keep them spotless. People need to quit complaining about simple stuff like that because there's no way you can watch them 24 hours a day. People have lives, they have activities, they work. You know, stop finding fault with snake keepers. It's childish and immature. If you see someone abusing them or mistreating them, yeah, you should say something about it. But a dirty water dish or dirty papers, that's so ridiculous. Hey. Oh my gosh. You are so big. Look, you're up in the air. Do you realize how heavy you are? Huh? Do you realize how heavy you are? takes all my strength to hold you up, you big ogre you. <laughs> oh no, we're not getting in the windows and pulling my curtains down. Won't be long, Chewie, you'll be spring. You can go back outdoors. Would that be awesome? Go back outdoors? This guy has never bit me since he was a baby. Well, young juvenile. Never. Not once. He's never even strike. You can't provoke him to strike at anyone. He's so good-natured. Right now, he's been busy looking for a girlfriend. 
to breed with, but Jasmine's still, I feel, too small to be put in with him. Maybe later I'll try it and see if they get along. I did let them go nose to nose, and when she saw and she freaked out and backed up and tried to take off and run, so I think he intimidates her. Actually, I'm sure he, she does. He does. Look at all the black dots on your belly. They just get darker and darker. And no, they're not ticks. They're called markings, patterns, and colors. Uh, oh, I'd hate to drop you on my head. You'd probably break my neck. You're hopping. You're hopping. You're hopping. Go that way. Go that way. Did nope. Oh, I'm going to be on you. Oh, my gosh. You're drooling. Yep. Oop, you got a runny nose again. Time to take you back in. It's saliva. It's not his nose. It's just... He does this when he gets warm. He'll start snort, snorting and huffing a little bit. And then it's... Come on, get back in. Get back in, we'll take you back in the house. Come on. Yeah. It's because he's so big. He's huge. And he gets tired really fast with his size. So, Yeah, you spit on me a little bit. I keep an eye on that every year because you never know. Don't want him getting respiratory infections. Go on in. I'll take you in the house and let you get back in your house under your basket light. Yeah, you got a little runny nose. Come on. There we go. You're such a good boy. Yes, you are. You're such a sweetheart. There we go. I'll take you back in. 